Hey, hey, Dawn Nicole here, and today you're in luck because I'm gonna talk about how I grew my brand from zero to in demand in 90 days. Now, let me set the context. When I say grew my brand, I mean launched a new product that prompted it. I was working with a private coaching client and I was helping her grow her new brand. So I'm giving her the strategy. It's like, oh my God, Dawn Nicole, this is so good. You have to tell other people about it. Here it goes. Let me um, set context for you. In 2020, feverishly working on something that was called the CATP. Now the CATP is a brand new product that I was creating at the the time that stood for Certified Agile Transformation Professional. And it turns out I had identified a gap in the marketplace when it came to the Agile professional services industry. There's one problem, my friends. Nobody, nobody who's anybody in this market really knew who I was, who was gonna listen to me. So what I did is I literally created my own demand. This is where you wanna get a pen and paper because I'm gonna give you the play-by-play -play steps of exactly what I did. So the first thing that I did kind of told myself I'm gonna go on tour I'm gonna do a virtual tour I'm gonna literally do a talk like every Tuesday or every Wednesday I'm gonna create a postcard a flyer with my picture I'm gonna create a signature talk which by the way if you follow me um, when you're releasing a new product I always recommend a trifecta approach right a signature talk number one uh, consultancy and delivery of a service that connects with that signature talk number two and then a product that you can leave them with a book, a journal, some kind of e-learning, right? Something um, that they can use actively when you are not there. So that's the trifecta. Anyway, so going back to me in December. So I'm looking at the January 2021 calendar and I'm like, that's it. I'm going to take myself on a virtual tour and I'm going to create all of these events and I'm going to do this event over and over and over on a weekly basis. And so for example, it would be January 8th, for example, I'm not looking at the calendar, but like January 8th and again on January 16th and again on January 20th second right and so and it, it was only committing an hour a week to me doing the signature talk and the name of the talk at the time was like understanding agile transformation in a new world with Donna Cole right very mysterious intriguing talk that made you want to sign up and so that's what I did I literally created a, a postcard of me and book now and who should book who this talk is for and you guys let me tell you what happened I put this event on Eventbrite as well as LinkedIn and this is the kicker right I literally went from zero connections in terms of this new market I didn't have any leads to almost in 90 days I had close to a thousand emails and points of contact, good usable leads that I could use to get in the door and sell right or or uh, broker a relationship with now here's the key it's not just about uh, doing the work and showing up but it's also about collecting good data in the process because what I did right at the time is when you're setting up an event bright uh, event right you get an opportunity to ask questions you guys those questions are the gold do not miss the opportunity because how you ask your questions will determine how you get those responses and answers and the purity of the data and so what I did is I asked questions like name uh, last name email company you work for role in your company what is the number one thing you are hoping to get out of today's talk and what was happening it was really interesting the more that I did this talk the better at it I got and I started to sort of refine and finesse and formulate this talk and I began to let the weekly questions that that attendees were asking me really start to inform uh, how this talk was being delivered and what I touched on right um, the other thing that I allowed to inform this talk is I was able to use the data collected during registration when people were saying hey here's the one thing I want to take away from this talk I was able to get in front of it and understand what the masses wanted to learn and so I was able to format certain components of my talk so my point is, by the time I reached March and April, I had went from zero, right, zero brand when it came to my CATP course to being an in-demand brand. I would go on to do multi-partnerships, paid speaking, 
paid gigs, long-term gigs. Um, I would I would make deals with colleges for the CATP course. Um, I would do this. I would do this as a two-day offer. So let that's the other thing about the signature talk is the goal of the signature talk was to build brand awareness. It was to inform. It was to obviously collect data so I could build my email list for this particular market and product offering. Um, but it was also at the end to sort of do a soft upsell. And let me tell you, my first talk was horrible. Even though I feel like I'm a good speaker, it was horrible because I got to the very end and I, I knew it felt salesy because I hadn't done it. And my goal at the time was to go from talk, right, to get you intrigued to then compelling offer. And it felt really, really salesy. And someone told me that I actually heard this. But by the time I got to the third or fourth talk, I had a down pack. And the way I would close would sound something like this. I would say, listen, we're right at 45 minutes. We've had an amazing presentation you all have asked awesome questions and I wish we could stay here all day answering your questions really locking in on those key things you want to know but I'll tell you what since we've only got an hour for some of you who want to know more um, there is an absolute wonderful e-learning course that I created around this it covers a B and C and if you're interested I'll drop the link in the chat I'll also send it as a follow-up and you can determine if that's something that's valuable to you um, if not, I'm going to put my email up here. Feel free to reach out with questions. Pause. So the way that I did that was not salesy. It was like, hey, if this is valuable to you, hey, I know we're running tight on time. You probably have more questions. This e-learning course is designed to answer those questions. If that's the route you wanna take, by all means, here's the link, right? And I sort of did it in the way where like, I don't need you to buy, but I'm suggesting that this is great. Um, so that's how I built my in-demand brand. Then with me advertising those talks during that time, if you go back and research and you see that around January, February, March of 2021, I was putting up flyers. I was talking about this talk. I was asking you to register here. So what this also did is this boost me in the SEOs, the search. Around that time, if you did Agile Transformation, Dawn Nicole would come up. Um, if you did Agile Transformation, the CATP would come up, the Certified Agile Transformation Professional. So that is how I took a product that was a zero and took it to Q row in 90 days, right? What I call beginning to winning. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Just to put it in perspective, um, I basically created created my own demand by building up a series of virtual talks, creating a postcard that was compelling, creating some great copy content, making sure that I was collecting the right data so that I could go back and build relationships with those people. The other bonus thing that you will get from this as a bonus, make sure you write this down, is sometimes when you have a new product, there's who you think it's for, and then there's who uh, the market will show you it's actually for. By doing these talks, I found out that my market was not HR. For some reason, that I thought HR professionals wanted to better understand the world of agile transformation so that they could hire the right people. Not, that was not at all who it was, right? It ended up being like project managers and product managers and um, business managers, right? People who were not agilists who wanted to understand it, uh, but it wasn't HR. And so that's the other thing about collecting roles is that you can look and see who you're actually popular with and then start to curtail content around that audience. Listen, this is Donna Nicole, CEO of Queen City Women in Business with my story on how I grew a brand from zero to in demand in 90 days. I hope that this is helpful. Take care. Talk soon. Bye.